it's been a while since we went ahead and played in the snow. So I figure we're going to go on ahead and use these money me and Zelzies. Go on ahead and go up against the Carolina Panthers. And throw a little of that sprinkle sugar powder dust on there, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. You come out of the bushes. Now stab them. <laughs> we got to go on ahead and see what we can do in this snow. Now, we do have the run. This is a subscriber game. And if you guys are looking for an opportunity to play against me and make me look bad in front of people, definitely follow the live stream. That is your best opportunity to go on ahead and play against me. Link is in the description as well as my mutt channel as well as twitter so definitely uh show love to that so uh right here first drive running with ben tate we get some good blocks and we end up scoring only running a few plays so uh here we go on defense and uh i noticed you know my opponent you can tell when somebody has skill right you can just you can tell when somebody has an idea of what they're doing so uh you know he's running makeshift screens and uh it, it did look he didn't uh execute it but I could see him trying to do the uh, the field goal block where you pick the third guy to the left. And what I've never done it. I don't plan on ever doing it. It's um, right there. Beautiful. Don't test that user. Beautiful interception right there. Um, you know, I could see him trying to block our field goal and whatnot. So, uh, but you know, you can you can tell that you know he's got he's definitely got some skill behind him. So, uh, definitely trying to go on ahead and see how good. <laughs> Look at the wiggle sticks, though. Look at the wiggle sticks, man. Right here, we rest to the outside. Nice little juke towards the inside. Whoop! <laughs> Look at the wiggle sticks, man. We we definitely got some good stick skills right there in the last few pages. So. Uh, 14 to 0 lead right here. He decides to run the ball towards the outside, and we end up shutting that down. Second and 10 again. He um, decides to go deep up top and almost one hand snagged that. Uh, right here, definitely good blocking, but he's unable to get the pass off. Fourth down, he decides to go for it, and he's YOLO going up for like a Hail Mary, and Joe Hayden is there to break up the pass. So right here, we got Money Man. Ah, just got his bar shoelaces, preventing us from being the whoop. Preventing us from being able to go on ahead and uh, take off. So after that first down right there, we try an inside run, and that got shut down immediately. Right here, Manziel takes off, and he gets into the end zone, putting us up 21-0. to zero. Now, this right here is definitely a fantastic lead to go on ahead and have. I'm somebody who needs double-digit leads to go on ahead and be able to succeed. I definitely don't trust my defense enough to get that one necessary stop. Again, he goes to that makeshift screen, and the second time, He's done it where he breaks the tackle when we uh, pursue him and he uh, is able to pick up extra yards. So right there, little two man B gap never hurt nobody, right? Uh, right there, not, you know, little, you know, not, little, little, little P gap never hurt nobody, man. I swear, it never hurt it. Just a little bit. I'm not, I'm not out here B gapping left and right for no reason. Just a little B gap, man. I promise you, just a little B gap never hurt nobody. Right here, we roll outside with Tate and uh, almost stayed on his feet, but he does spiral forward for nine yards. Right here, another run with Ben Tate. We are just absolutely gashing him on the run. Whoop! Gashing him on the run. And I've been uh, really, really, really executing my spin uh, extremely well. As you guys know, man, I utilize the double juke more than probably anybody. <laughs> but I've definitely been working on my spin game, and it's so effective, man. I'm definitely learning the timing and the angles and whatnot. So uh, adding that to my uh, plays, you know, my run after catches as uh, helped me out a lot. Like I'm understanding when's the proper time for a double juke or a spin. Look at this angle. It's so tough. To, I don't know. Whenever you muff it, uh, you get that angle, which is so stupid. I hate it. Uh, right here, we back up. We're standing in the pocket. We roll out. We're looking, and we end up just taking off with Manzel, and we end up getting the first down. So right here again, we go back to the run, and that man sent a nice little a gap or b whatever it was. It was some type of gap, but that man came screaming, and. Uh, we end up getting sacked so uh big play right there gives it a manageable third down situation again we had some pressure but we end up just getting the ball off right whoop we end up just getting the ball off right there picking up the first down 20 seconds remaining we decided to go to re-option director was definitely a premature spin we call a timeout again we roll out with manzel and just as a was wide open i was about to get rid of the pass but unfortunately i got hit before i could get it off again he does another good job of being able to create some pressure and we end up settling for the field goal and we end up going up 31 to 0. And, I, you know, I wouldn't put it against anybody to be able to come back and, you know, when especially as bad as my defense is, I am able to give up scores and points in bunches. I'm known 
for definitely giving up a lot of scores and a lot of scores in a hurry. So, um, you know, not out of the question, but definitely highly unlikely because once things do start to get out of hand, oh, that milk button, we're hitting that RB in a hurry. We are hitting RB once it gets a little too out of hand. Again, he goes for the makeshift screen, and that play has been very, very, very doing. You know, very, very doing good for him. That doesn't make any sense. But uh, it was it's doing very well for him, you know, that makeshift screen. And he went to it about four or five times. And every time he's been able to get good yardage, except the one time in the second quarter where it was an incomplete pass. So uh, right here, he's definitely getting himself a good drive going, you know, being able to find open receivers, utilizing, you know, slants and things like that. And he actually ends up scoring his first touchdown of the game. He decides to go for two, which he does pick up. And uh, right here, he did come out in... Uh, no, 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 he didn't, he did he did not, no, I thought he was going to come out and maybe onside, but look at the wiggle sticks, man, he came out in the squib, and, uh, we were able to audible back and, uh, prepare for that, so, uh, right here, you know, with, uh, the score being the way it is, man, keep the ball on the ground, and, you know, try and waste as much time as possible, you know, never, uh, take your, <coughs> excuse me, your opponent, you know, for, um, you know, never take them lightly, you know, never because you have yourself a beer. I've been able to have some tremendous comebacks because people, they get themselves a good lead and they just start horsing around or they just start, um, you know, not playing how they should when they have themselves a good lead. And I've lost games, you know, being up and not really uh, playing the clock game and, and really uh, just playing stupidly. And so, uh, you know, anything can happen. <laughs> anything. Like I said, it's highly unlikely. Highly, but I've seen a lot of crazy things in this game. So at this point, with the score being the way it is, man, uh, you see we're starting to waste, waste the play clock now. Just trying our fastest to go on ahead and get it to them triple zeros. So right here, we end up running towards the right side with Tate. Nice spin move, and we just pick up the first down. Right here, I believe that was Wildcat we tried right there. So two-minute warning. Right here, we go to a little makeshift screen of our own, and Ben Tate stumbles forward for about five yards after already being hit in the backfield. So right here, we're forced to punt the ball. Only 30 seconds remaining, not too much time left. So we just punt it high as possible just to be able to waste as much time as possible. So uh, that's pretty much going to wrap up the game, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, hopefully you guys are having yourselves a spectacular day, man. NBA has started, so I know a lot of you guys are excited about that, as I am. My Bulls ended up winning an opening day in spectacular fashion. Rose, as he always does for the first few games of the NBA season, is looking good, looking healthy. Hopefully he can go ahead, not even as a Bulls fan, but as somebody that would love to be able to see somebody of his talent be able to play Hopefully, you know, he'll get better, um, you know, stay healthy and be able to, uh, you know, provide us with a healthy season. But that's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's your boy GS, and we're out. Peace!